talk about what GeneoSQL is, I need to explain more what NoSQL means. Basically, NoSQL is a technology to store, store information. So it, it does exactly the same thing that SQL database does. So I can put information there, I can retry information there, I can delete information there. So I can do a lot of stuff with NoSQL technology. Uh, but I have some difference there right now. Because right now, I have uh, five different types. I have no standards yet. And I have no transaction. And they normally don't use structure like SQL. Uh, let's go deeply on the types. The first one, a key value. So we have the most famous one, in Redis. So I believe everyone here is a Java developer. So the key value has the same structure as hash map. So I have a key. And to this key, I have respective value. So that is it. I can retry information for the key. And that is, that's, and that is it. I have the document. So the most famous one, in my opinion, is a MongoDB. So this structure is something like JSON, F, JSON file or XML file. So basically, the whole idea is I have a collection of the document, and this collection has document. And this document has a tuple. This tuple is uh, a key, where the key is the, the name of the information, and the value, uh, that is the, the information. In the sample here, I have the key, first name, and the value, John. I have the, la the key, last name, and the value, Smith. In the document, I have the sub-document concept. So I can, ha I can put document inside document. So I have the document address, and I put more document inside address. That's the whole idea on the document structure. Let's go in deeply to column family. So I have the column family here. I hope everyone knows what Cassandra is, but Cassandra is one implementation of column family. Uh, it looks similar to column. So I'm, I, have, I have my column family in the top, and then I have column, and the column ha is, is composed by a tuple. So the tuple is key value. The key is the name, and the value is the right information. And one important thing, he, stuff here is the column is created, created just in time. So if you take a look here, I have Apollo. It has dirty. And just after it has color, because the information was created just in time. That's a little different of the SQL technology, because if you have information or not, the column is still there with information or with, with new value. That's the idea. OK, right now I have the graph and no SQL database. Basically, I can uh, save relationship between ver vertex. So I have the Apollo and Ari, Aris, both are brothers. And I have Kratos. I told you I'm nerd, so. Kratos kill Apollo and Kratos kill Ares. Uh, I believe everyone, who knows what God of War is? PlayStation, okay. <laughs> Basically, I keep the, the relationship between this guy here. Uh, who knows Netflix? LinkedIn. Okay, basically, uh, to, to this application suggest some information, okay, this guy has something in common with you. Basically, they try to use some graph database to solve that. And I have the last one, that's a multi model. What multi model means? Basically, one OSQL provider has more support more than one type, it's a multi model. So, RNDB supports graph and document, couch base, key value and document. So. If it has support to more than one type, it's a multi model. Uh, the trivial relationship, normally when you try to use NoSQL, you try to do uh, analogy with 
the SQL technology. So let's take a look in the structure. If you take a look in the key value, that's the simplest one. So I have the bucket and the key value pair. And the document, I have the, the collection, the document, and the document has a tuple. That's a key and value. So key is the name and value the information. There's something in the column. And no one guys his just SQL has relationship. So joins, left to joins, or to joins. And the graph is totally different. So the first advice to you, if I'd like to use NoSQL, don't try to emulate SQL and NoSQL database because the project is gonna fail. Okay, let's take a look in a single application. If you are using Java EE application with SQL technology, so I have JPA that is standard, so I have JDBC that is standard too. So what happened if I'd like to change MySQL to Postgre on the Java EE application? What I need to do? Yeah. Just, I, I just need to change the drive, right? So, no code to change. <laughs> Basically, just a drive. And imag imagine right now I'm using Arbonate implementation and I'd like to use Open EGB from Apache. What I need to change? Just the implementation, because the API is going to be exactly the same. That's an advanced to standards. But it's not going to happen in NoSQL application because there's no standard there. So if I'm going to use Cassandra and I'd like to use HBase, I'm going to break my, my tau or my repository. If I'm going to use a MongoDB and I'd like to use Couchbase, I, I need to change my, my APIs because it both has different APIs. We, right now, we have some solution to, do, to solve this kind of stuff. So we have Spring Data. Who knows Spring Data? Oh, nice. And we have Arbonate, OGM, and TopLink. I believe Spring Data is the most famous one to solve uh, integration between NoSQL and Java application. And we have Arbonate, OGM, and TopLink. Basically, Arbonate tries to use the same API the same JPA API to, to connect with NoSQL database. Basically, I have JPA to connect with Cassandra, to connect with uh, MongoDB. That's, that sounds a, a nice idea because I don't need to learn a new API. But I have a problem using that, right? Because JPA was not made to NoSQL database. So I cannot save asynchronously. I cannot save use CTL, the time to live. And in, in NoSQL database, we have a lot of diversity, and this diversity really matter to us. So if I'm using Cassandra, I'd like to use Cassandra query language. If I'm using uh, Couchbase, I'd like to use Live Query. If I'd like to, if I'd like to use Elasticsearch, Elasticsearch has search engine that I'd like to use. And if I'm using MongoDB, MongoDB has feature th that just MongoDB has. So specific behavior in NoSQL database really matter. That's a totally different of the SQL technology. So the first ch challenge on NoSQL technology is the diversity, because the diversity really matter. So we have different types, we have different goals, we have different behaviors, we have different proposals, uh, we have different ways to communicate, to communicate with NoSQL database, so we have P2P, we have master slave, we have different ways to do that, so. To try to solve that, we created the J NoSQL proposal, so the idea, the idea is, okay, let's have two layers, the first one gonna be in the mapping layer, so, something like JPA does. And if I'd like to use, uh, and then I have a communication layer, something that JDBC does. So I have two different layers, two on two, and I can, I can do divide and conquer. Why that? Because 
I can have the NoSQL providers on one layer. I can have the NoSQL providers working on communication layer. Because the NoSQL to NoSQL providers, just the communication matter. So this guy can work just in communication layer. And to solution guys, such as Pivotal with Spring, uh, Arbonate with uh, Red Hat with Arbonate, just the mapping layer matter. So I can divide and conquer. So these guys can work together and different goals. And no locking. Because right now you're gonna have four different APIs. So one API to column, one API to key value, one API to graph, and you one API to document. So have four different APIs to try to solve four different documents. So what what happened with multi-model? If a if a NoSQL database has port model one type, it must to, to implement model than one type. So Couchbase has port to document and graph, so it must implement document and graph. That's the, the idea. So right now, GenoSQL is a Eclipse in pro, uh, Foundation product, so it's a dual, dual license, so Apache and Eclipse. Uh, the idea is, okay, I have a common API on NoSQL, but the, the different behavior matters, so I have extensible. I have extension to use this specific behavior. And why Diana, why Artemis? Basically, my product, my name. So basically, I love history, so I put this name. That is it. Uh, our adventure, I have the communication layer, the Diana. So I have four different APIs. Uh, let's take a, a really simple here. I have four different NoSQL database. So all this guy here are documents NoSQL. So I have ArangoDB, I have MongoDB, I have Couchbase, and I, I have OrangeDB. If, if you take a look at the code, they are totally different, right? So I have the base document to ArangoDB, I have document to MongoDB, but if you take a look deeply, deeply, the behavior gonna be the same because I have my collection and I'd like to put one document. And the document has a key value where the key is the name and the value is the information, right? So take a look here, base document, age attribute. So the base attribute is name and value. The document, a pen, so name, value. JSON, put, name, value. Uh, document, fields, name, value. So basically, what I'd like to do is put a document there. So we don't need th this. We, we just need a common API to solve this problem. So that's the whole idea. So I created my document entity and I created, created my document that has a name and value, the key value, the tuple, and then put uh, this document in my entity. And this API is gonna implement. That's the idea. And also try to solve the nomenclature because we have a lot of nomenclature to do the exactly same thing. So I have insert, save, delete, with remove, update, merge, find, search, and a lot of stuff. The same thing happened with time to live. So I have long to seconds, into seconds, long to milliseconds, into milliseconds. So basically, I have different ways to do the exactly same thing. Oh, that's a whole idea. So I, my Diana project has four different APIs for different TC keys, that is technical compatibility kit. So I have my database, I have my API, API there, I implement, run my TCK, and it's okay, it's gonna support. The nomenclature, I try to use uh, the same nomenclature on the APA when I can. And of course, the diversity really matter, I will mention before, so, I have here my column entity. I created, created some columns. So I can save with multiple implementations. So if you take a look here, my save API can save 
as Cassandra and eight base, for example, but I can create extension in this case with Cassandra because yes, Cassandra has SQL because SQL means Cassandra query language. So diversity really matter on NoSQL database. We have a lot of providers working in this product right now. So I have we have Cassandra, Couchbase, MongoDB, uh, Oracle, Eightbase, Hazelcast, Thinkerpop, uh, a lot of guys. We have communities work with us right now. So we have Spring Data guys. Uh, we have so Java, Java Bahia, a lot of Java is a groups. Maybe in the future, this Java is a group work with giving us feedback about the tool, about the API. Uh, okay, I mentioned I have two layers, communication layer, that's a Gianna, and Artemis basically is CDI plus communication layer. Basically the idea is, okay, let's put mapping annotation and on my object here, and Artemis is gonna convert to communication layer. That's the whole idea on Artemis. So. I can put a lot of stuff here, dynamic query. So basically I can do query use, using methods and interface and Artemis can care to do this query to you. I can put a lot of events. I can observe on an event, for example, to put beam validation. Now, as I already mentioned before, the diversity really matter, matter. So I have a lot of extension. So in this case here, I put the UDT annotation. U UDT means user defined type. Of course, that is not the, the common API. That's the extension API to Cassandra. So just Cassandra can stand UDT. And the same thing gonna happen with SQL because just Cassandra can stand SQL because SQL means Cassandra query language. That is our roadmap. So we have some code proposal. And we are doing this tour to receive feedback from the community if it's worth or not. Try to involve a lot of NoSQL vendors, uh, solution vendors, guys. Uh, put us Eclipse projects. You are developing a lot, a lot of code, and then created a GSR. The idea is to two years, so on the Java E9, but I'm not sure, two years is so long time, so I can tell this that's gonna happen or not, but I hope so. And we have a site, so I have genocycle.org that can have a lot of information there. We have, all the code is open source, so you can fork, you can put star, you can go deeply in the codes, op open some issues, please give us feedback to this product. So we have mail list, uh, we, have, we have Gitter, uh, we also have Wik. So if you go to the genocycle.org, you can get a lot of information there. Okay, that is it. So right now let's do a, a demo with genocycle. Basically the idea is give a Java project a Java product, let's do an integration between Java and NoSQL database. In this case, you are running the Couchbase database. So basically I'm running Couchbase in the Docker container. So if you look here, I'm running Docker. I created uh, a document, document collection of heroes. The idea is to put heroes here, of course. So let's go to my Java application. I have my entity, so that's hero. And my hero has some attributes such as ID, name, real name, age, and power. And one important thing here is, I, I a pretty different from SQL technology is because uh, NoSQL can storage the entire collection it just one just one document it just one row if it's gonna be a SQL technology 
If you can see the import, imports not from the APA, but you try to keep the some nomenclature. So we have entity, we have ID, we have column. There's something that the JPA already does. We have our hero entity and we have the hero resource. Basically the idea is okay, I have my hero my hero model and let's put this model to public as JSON. And in the middle and uh, in between the resource and the in uh, JSON and my model, I created my representation. The idea is to split uh, what's going to show it to public, our Jack RS and my model. So, for example, I'd like to hide the real name because the identity of, of the hero is secret. I can remove this, remove this guy here, but I can keep saving in the database. And to do this integration between my application and the database, we have the my repository. Basically, this guy is just an interface that extend my hero my repository. Uh, this is repository is from Artem, so basically, I have a common a common methods on the repository interface. And then I created a new one to method query. So basically, I can find by name, find Azure greater than, and find Azure lesser than. So I can delete by name. Basically, I created some method to query and to delete just using uh, nomenclature in the method. So the art team is gonna care what left to us. Take a look here. You won't see anything like uh, the full hero repository or hero repository implementation because our team is gonna care to us this implementation. So let's return to to my resource, so that's it, so I can find by ID, use my repository, and then convert to my representation, and I can do some queries, as seniors, heroes, that's you older than some age, young heroes, I can save hero with post method, and HTTP and update hero and of course delete hero. So basically, I'm reusing just Java EE technology. If you take a look here, so just Java EE technology and the version is Java EE 7. And I'm running the R teams. And as mentioned before, I have the driver, the guy gonna do the connection between application and NoSQL so I just have to on my application this guy here this guy has the client that's localhost and the user and the password uh, everything else uh, search as okay. I, I'd like to define my collection. So basically, I just use a CDI. So I created my configuration to read the information for the properties. I created created my factor, and then I created my manager, and my manager care the heroes document collection. So based on that, and my repository interface, the Artem is gonna care. Every everything else, just uh, using CDI. Okay. Another point is I'm using Tommy Server and Tommy plugin plugin. So 
a king running as fat char and actually that's what are you gonna do so basically I compile the code use a maven and then run tummy okay that's running so fast by the way to make easier and faster and st I create some scripts so this idea behind the script so basically I created some post methods using curl so to save some information there on the couch base right now that's empty let's do a refresh to show to you there's no information there and let's run the the script with with some heroes and basically it's a post method method so gonna, gonna save a lot of guys a lot of heroes so right now we have black panther black winder window captain america and hook have some heroes of course so basically let's show some queries so i can find by id okay just using cat i can find some heroes seniors and this hero is older older than 32 years old so basically i can return chala natasha romanov Steve rogers and torn Stark, and i can find uh youngers than some age so basically the idea is uh, a simple integration between Java and NoSQL database and of course with some extension to use also the specific behavior from a specific, specific database again we have the website that's uh, jnoseq.org oops so we have some information here the concept the details about the layers and some database that we are supporting right now some sample using just the communication layer that's how Diana and abstraction layer that's a map layer that's a artem so follow us on twitter my tweet is at otavio java and the product has a twitter account as a at that's it thank you